IMPD is working to piece together what led to a deadly shooting on the city's south side. A man was shot to death inside an apartment building this morning. CBS 4's Jesse Wells has the latest on the investigation. Neighbors tell me they heard arguing coming from one of the apartments inside this building, followed by the shooting. For their part, police say the cause of the violence remains under investigation. Just before 5.30 in the morning, police were called to the Hannah Bluff Apartments and found Elijah Mitchell shot inside. The 21-year-old victim died on scene. Police believe everyone involved in the case has been accounted for and one woman was taken into custody for questioning. The deadly shooting continued what has been a violent week in the city. Starting Tuesday at this apartment complex on the northwest side, IMPD has investigated four homicides over the last four days. There's still work that needs to be done. One homicide is one too many for our city. We will always say that. We will always say that trying to solve conflict, trying to solve, resolve anything with guns is never the answer. The bottom line here is that this is not just a police problem. Uh, this is a community problem. While police say the exact relationship between the suspect and the victim in the shooting on Hannah is still being determined, Assistant Chief Chris Bailey said this week that preventing issues of domestic violence will be a top priority for the department in 2023. You're going to see a greater emphasis uh, from us last of next year on domestic violence offenders, not people that uh, are shooting in domestic violence, but those that meet a criteria that you know, has been proven over and over again, they're either going to be a victim of a homicide or they're going to commit a homicide. Following the overnight shooting, one small child was removed from the home. Victims assistance will work with DCS to ensure that child is safe. The child was not harmed in any way. As always, anyone with information on the case is still asked to contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Jesse, thanks.